And why are you here today? Well, the picture says it all. I'm here for justice. What? Why am I here today? Well, because I think that this is the most important place to be in terms of this particular struggle, because I think this is where, you know, this is where people are the most badly informed on the Israeli-Palestinian uh, problem. Am I concerned? I don't like to pay for it. Our American dollars going over there to kill all the innocent Palestinians. Genocide, it's, there's no human rights and they stole all their land. And I don't want to pay for it as an American citizen. It, it's a little ridiculous when you think about it. You know, the message being beamed out over everybody's television set and so forth and so on. Here we are, a small group of maybe two dozen people at the most, sitting on a street corner saying that we don't believe all that. This isn't what we saw when we were over there and so forth and so on. It, 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 you know, it's like it's like a little pebble of sand in 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 a big beach. You know, that's that's where we are. But nonetheless, this is all we can do, and so this is what we have to do. And I'm an ex U.S. Marine. I fought for this country, and I want my money going over here doing this for those poor people. Give them back the land. We can have peace tomorrow if they give back the land. Go back to 67 borders and a right of return. Why are we worried about Just what's happening it. somewhere else like Darfur or, the, or Tibet or any other place? And it isn't that we're not worried about those things, it's that our tax dollars aren't going to pay for those things. Our tax dollars go to pay for this. There are, Pal there are Palestinians among my friends, there are Israelis among my friends. And if there's anything I can say, I think that on a person-to-person -person basis, the Palestinians and the Israelis have a great deal in common. I think that it's a shame that this political situation occurs so that they can't get along better. It's going to take many, many brave people, particularly on the side of the Israelis. I look at the friendship between uh, Edward Said and Daniel Barenboim. I mean, that was tremendous. Uh, I mean, did you see the movie where uh, at Edward Said's funeral, uh, Daniel Barenboim got up and made this long speech about Edward Said, his friend? You know, they used to play piano duets together, and th then at the end, uh, Daniel Barenboim goes over and plays the piano. I mean, you know, I mean that was that was very touching because that was, that, you know, if Edward was there, he would have played the piano, okay. and that that was the idea. So that kind of friendship has to occur.